Hey there, for those of you who've been tuning in for the last 10 weeks, this is the big review um, of the Methods in the Punter's Tale. We've been trying to identify false favorites in horse races by going to one racetrack every Saturday, reviewing the card, and picking out favorites who looked to be likely to lose. We record these videos on Thursday night. Uh, we're using the morning line favorite. And um, what we've come up with over 10 weeks, I'm happy to report, is a high rate of success in identifying false favorites. 17 of the 20 false favorites we identified have lost. That's 85% accuracy um, predicting races two days ahead of time. Uh, so it's really an astounding success rate when you consider that favorites win about 36% of all races in the United States, uh, that we were able to isolate races where they went only 15% of the time. Uh, this is a great scenario to bet into. If you pick up a copy of The Punter's Tale, you can figure out how to do this yourself. It's, uh, I think, rather easy, well documented, and um, that book is available at thebookpatch.com. It will be available on our soon-to-be-launched website, lazybetterusa.com. So if you could bet at a racetrack with a favorite only one fifteen percent of the time, you'd tend to bet on that track far more often than others. And that's what the book suggests, um, even suggests you should restrict your betting to those races. The other half of what we're doing here in this video series is suggesting alternative horses to bet. That is just a way of trying to measure the return on investment you can expect. We started the first seven weeks at Gulfstream Park. It produced a flat bet loss at Gulfstream Park. I didn't do such a great job there. But then um, we switched over to the fairgrounds in week eight and we picked four winners in six races, had a uh, flat bet profit. Um, overall was a 17% loss in the 10 weeks. Um, so we have to do better on the handicapping aspect uh, because the other part of this is working so well, I think we'll get there. Uh, six winners in 20 races, the return on the $2 bet, 65-60. Um, so the average win odds were nine to two. The silver lining in all this is fell just about two winners short of turning a profit at nine to two. So um, just a little bit of improvement there and um, we'll be clicking on both counts. Uh, in the meantime, the Flaw's favorite methods in the punter's tail are something that I think we've proven you can rely on. And I encourage you to pick up a copy of the book and read what those methods are. One other thing, in the rush to kind of get this video series launched, there are a few situations that I didn't cover. They're kind of what if scenarios. So what if the favorite is scratched? Because we're using the morning line favorite, that happens once in a while. Um, so in this case, I would suggest, and what I've done in this series is examine the new favorite uh, most likely, if the new favorite isn't one of the bets I mentioned, then I would consider that favorite false. The other what-if scenario is uh, what if the morning line favorite isn't the actual race day favorite. I still say you should go ahead and bet the race, um, even if the morning line favorite ends up as a second choice. It's still eating up a lot of money, um, burning a lot of other bettors' money. Um, it's money that can end up in your pocket. And um, finally, what if one of my alternate bets in this series becomes a favorite? Uh, here, you gotta use a little judgment. Um, in the book, I came up with 52% winners across 20 something plays. Here, I'm coming in lower than that. On average, it's about 40%. If you use that as your expected win percentage for two horse bets in each race, then um, you can settle on odds eight to five or higher if um, one of my picks or one of your picks ends up lower than that you probably want to um, back off and not bet the race but otherwise go ahead and make your two horse bet uh, the full list of false favorites is available or will be available on the website 
lazybettorusa.com. It has, lists all the races that we played, all the alternate bets, the return, the results. Um, so if you want to kind of review um, what the bets were, who the falls favorites were, um, feel free to download that document. Check it out at lazybetterusa.com. Thank you.